full house on a Saturday night. Everybody here because of Counter-Strike. And I think it's about damn time that we all start to lose our minds. Let's go, Antwerp. Make some noise. That's the energy we love to see. Ants out, made fast. Perfecto double kill. Electronic right there. Already Ents crumble. If you're going to come for the best, you better not miss. Yeah, they stop him at the 10 yard line. No chance of a plant. All headshots in for Navi. Navi right now have far less reps than Ents do on Nuke. Nuke for Ents has been a homestay. And Navi out of last year, it was, a team, it was a team that kept winning, basically versus anybody. But what we saw versus Heroic last time, the 16 8 match, they stopped them dead in their tracks. And that's after two losses on Nuke. Just to remind us that this was the best team in the world on it. And when it comes to high pressure situations, they will deliver. Already kind of getting out that hut. Perfecto dives back. Boomich on the floor. Double kill with the SMG. Sphinx has got something. A little bit more than what they had in that pistol. Some kind of an opening. Something to wiggle around with. And Snappy wants to kind of get in with this. Sphinx takes down a second. Vent gets shut out. Snappy's going to find that upgrade. Finds oh. another kill. And all of a sudden, just like that, it's bit. Snappy locking horns with him. And there's so much time, but that bomb's in the open, and so is the CT. Snappy still knows oh! it. He takes his fight, and he will answer back. Oh, man. The leader of the team, the leader of men. Fragging like a star between the two. I can't believe it was Snappy to close that out in such convincing fashion. And the way he was emphatically peeking into heaven, you knew he had the confidence. And what does Snappy said? If a rush doesn't work once, then rush faster. They go back into round two, another upper hit. They do it with conviction, they believe in it, and they crush Navi. Walls of smoke, coverage, and a chance to breathe, but Simple looks to take that back. He gets shut out. Diha, who has been so sharp across this series, across this, this entire run from Ants. Yeah, man. Diha has been on a seven series, over 1.0 rating streak, just coming into the major. Top two performer alongside Spinks. And it's not been quiet. He takes control of maps. Flash to the top, quick peek. Ooh, Boomich. Oh. Oh my god, he's just trying to hide in that coverage, but he will find himself a little bit of room to work with. Even more top of that damage. Wow, the adjustment. They Not smoked. Bad. Yeah, they got main smoked off. The lurk has been shut out. Jiha has to wait 50 seconds. Now they're worried about getting flanked. Look who's here to refresh Boomich's position. It's electronic. Yeah, these SMGs lethal. A second door gets shut down. And what goes around comes around by the looks of things, unless Jiha and Hades can draw this one back from the two versus four, and Jiha's hunting for those heads. Hades peeks wide, thinking maybe Electronic's still here, and sure enough, there was nowhere to run. So it falls onto the three other players of Navi, and they've been moving. They've been mobile. Bit doubling back around that lobby. Hades, there's the first, but he needs two more. Oh. And Bit's going to stop that with the 5-7 headshot. Wow. The Force Wars go on. What an electric start here in the first three. Boomich with the jumping MP9 kill. Electronic, two frags on his SMG, stopping that squeaky burst. Three rounds in a row, they've tried this. This is insane, the way that this has gone. And we got four players dead for Mens the last round. But the money is back in the hands of Na'Vi. They have control of the situation once again. They know the buy is poor right now for Mens. And it looks like they're going to feign like we're doing the same thing again. Honestly, the level we're seeing already from both squads is alarming. I mean, I was wondering if we were going to get a slow start from either team. It doesn't seem like it. Who will get their claws in first? Smoke fades. Flash takes its place. A bit of an invitation to come and challenge Bit. One of the few players of the expected rosters to be in the playoffs that is still putting up those performances, still carving his place in this space. Simple doubles back around from hell, but one player will get through. Simple able to deal with that one and with Spinks, both the tail end and the front runner. 
Electronic comes to help out. Navi's members bailing each other out of these sticky spots. And, well, that only opening that goes the way the Ents is downstairs. Madden headshot. Bomb plant should come with it. Boomage, though, he's going to pressure this. And sure oh. enough, with that, now suddenly things get sticky. Diha has his hands on that M4. There's only 24 health between Boomage and Electronic. And for that reason, you'd think just for a second he could pull this off. Oh. But as those doors swing wide, there's just too much pressure. Navi, pull ahead. Yeah, yeah, they can maybe take a rest now. That's a, that's a huge win, right? They win the Force by Wars. Navi come out ahead. That moment for Matty to open the door, he has to get control of control side. If he goes for a plant, they'll open that door for him and take him out. So smartly tries to take that fight, but unfortunately, the round also rested on that fight. Losing bomb in control made that way too hard to win for Deha. Navi 3-1 start, and again, they have been trying to avoid Nuke in their vetoes for some time. Teams don't want to play it against them, but they have been fallible until what we saw yesterday. Frag sails over, Madden able to still get simple. Electronic tries to put some space between him and this onslaught. You don't want a second victim. Frag on top, great call. Wow. But, but that metal, it gives a little bit of cover and suddenly Electronic, he loses his second teammate. So this opening outside, ever so slightly wider. Electronic still not able to get these kills back. A1S oh kind God. of betraying him, but Perfecto comes in with the help. Man advantage still for Ents. And all the while, outside, compromised, so ramp and open space for him to push through. And Bit, he could sense this, of course, but Sphinx, sharp as he is, oh. it's just that Glock and Bit well aware. Electronic back at the outer fight, and things seem to stabilize here for Navi. Yeah, Bit's a little bit too reliable, isn't he? Leave him in a spot, he'll make sure to clear everything out. So now, these final two pistols, seen some great mid rounds and completely losing situations and Ants have been able to squeeze water from stone. But this one, this is a stone too hard. This is a diamond. I don't think they're getting anything out of this. Dia dodging the frag again this round. You just can't find him. Oh my. Dangerously close with the wall bang, but sure enough, Electronic sets up shop as he loses those two players outer. Deals with the threats. Three stand for Navi. We move into the second half. Ants have basically beat everybody without them getting double digits. Their CT sides stand far above their T sides. So they always have that to look forward to. Looking at Navi, the interesting thing about this game is Spinks is the number one player, and recency matters the most, right, in this tournament. But Simple is still the number one player of the year. And that is a a storyline that's clashing right here in the semi-final and will settle a lot of arguments about, you know, who really is uh, the king at the moment. Even if right now Sphinx is doing so much work with a rifle, Simple has a chance to quash that storyline, right? As soon as he makes it to grand finals, if he's the one to do it, that's all that's going to matter. So much on the line here for Ents to prove. Neither side of the bracket would have been fun. We already said Sayonara, one of our upsets, one of our underdogs today. Hell of a run from Spirit, but the expectant winner pulls ahead. And right now, Navi have done the same thing on map one. Yeah. One thing about the way that Ents uh, have been playing CS is a lot of their low buys are extremely quick. And that's going to be a tell for Navi, of course. So being ready for what we saw in these first couple of rounds with the upper pops is going to be paramount. They have done a good job of dealing with it, though, if you ask me. It's going to soften it up. Deha, but okay. that will not stop him. Oh, too many players come close to that box and clear it incorrectly. Deha's perfect. And he skates back to look to join the pack. Remember, we started this half with the A hits from Ents. They gather their numbers despite lower health on two. CT setup's actually looking outside, so Perfecto, no eyes on that A floor. This could be a good chance for Ents to get in. He now has support from Simple. That's going to fall him down into the back of those silos. Flashing a smoke over towards the doors, but Snappy, he's ahead. Oh. And that insta headshot from Madden is oh. big. Diha delivers one of his own. And just like that, with a crack of the whip, Ents take that A site. God damn, they got assassins. You had no time to shoot back. One between the eyes on two players. Navi lose the site. There's no chance for the retake. As soon as Ents get on guns, they put it into a default. They throw a lot of their outside utility. And what's becoming more favorable these days is getting that utility out, but not committing with a whole bunch of players. But Deha is the guy to trust, you know, between uh, him and Spinks. There are two players from Ents that are in the top five of all the players at this event right now. Navi don't have any. 
which is crazy to think. So a hard fought round one here from Enz. And uh, it, it comes off the fact that they, they open up with a 5v4 clean. It doesn't need to be that much support for Electronic. He has shadow advantage versus Deha, but Deha, he had confidence. And what's most important is he cleared it properly and with conviction. Instead of coming close around that box, giving Electronic that huge advantage to see a shoulder first, he went nice and wide. That's the one. Right there. Presence of mind. Madden, same thing. Knew exactly what his target was, killed it instantly. Tactical timeout here from Navi early on. Yeah, I think it makes a lot of sense. That was such a decisive round. We talk about Blade, we talk about him off tax. He almost always delivers. I mean, we'll see it's CT side. There's not so much that you can do in the way of making the round as convoluted as possible. Of course, might be one or two opening tactics they want to implore here. We saw the heroic match actually. Some of the starting locations for Simple were countered by KD, and overall the map wasn't that good for him, but in general, the fact that they could game plan that well versus Na'Vi will probably have them on guard coming into this match versus Enz. You know, clearly one of the hardest working teams in pro right now. With an all-time high form. Snappy doing a fantastic job of getting these players primed for top-level play. Frags over just in case something quick comes out, but Enz, no sir. Gonna throw that wall of smokes. Diha, yeah, check it again, just in case. Nobody here this time, CTs concede. Oh man, it's so cool to watch this. We're getting two different rounds. Same clear in that position. Navi are gonna see the same smokes. But now it doesn't start off 5v4 instantly. That actually gives a bit more room for Diha. He's gotta follow his, his processes. Look how smooth that timing was. Last time with the kill, he fell back to the lobby, and we saw just how instrumental he was to that easy A take, quick headshot into the heaven. But this is different. He's deep. There's somebody downstairs awaiting him. Util starts to go out onto that A site. That will draw Boomich away from Secret, which could open up doors for Diha, but for now, oh, they, they don't panic. Man, this is the thing about Simple. He's starting off ramp. He's ready. Bits right there to try and help. Ents decide to fall back. That one kill, just enough to turn them back. Diha's going to look for that opening elsewhere. He's been set up for this since the start. Yeah, he's become kind of a contingency plan now that uh, they've been exposed, trying to open up the ramp, getting locked out. Oh, that's going to be audio. Then Electronic comes out from behind Vent, kills Snappy. That's still two players downstairs, but of course, Boomich and Bit, they've been here the entire time. 20 seconds, Bit looking for the frag. Oh, Jesus. But it's actually Boomich to come in with both. Okay. He'll grab him. They lock Ooh. it up. That's beautiful. I mean, uh, the fact that Simple starts ramp in that position, I think that's something that best player in the world all through 2021, maybe his best year on record, we saw especially on ramp. He was a number one player on every single map that they played, okay? So the only map that he wasn't number one on was Vertigo. But in, in Nuke, the one thing that made him the most special was he would have committed rotations beyond the first kind of fake that would come through from the other team. He knows where you want to end up, and that's the scariest part. You better believe no one is telling him what to do in those positions. He's, he's the one who runs with autonomy and makes it happen. We got Antwerp for Navi, we got Brazil for Navi. Yeah. yeah. Where the hell are the Eds fans? None? There are none. They're saving. They're saving <laughs> They're themselves. They're saving. Okay. They wait. They wait. Boomich clean as can be with that second kill. Very good job from him, but we're right back into the action. Deagle and a Galil, so some concessions here from Ants. Deha over top with a good flash. That actually gives him a chance to get past that scope from Simple. Oh, but Simple's quick. Takes Madden down in the background. Oh, and suddenly, Wait. Simple has just gotten away here, but he really does not know. He is a dead man crouching. Oh, he's taking this carefully. Oh. Diha taps him down from above. Then that contact over towards ramp. We get the double kill here from Ents, and they're looking to puncture through. Yeah, this Electronic. Oh, he's going to be throwing his grenades. And maybe Boomich can attack him from the back. He was so key in that last round, but he has to ask himself, where have they gone? Oh, I think they might know that there's still another. They'll fall out. This is a two-on-five situation, but it somehow feels recoverable. Let's see if Sphinx has anything to say about that. Be 
patience. Patience. The map falls completely quiet as you cross the 45 second mark. Ents will be forced to make a decision. But will they find out where the CTs are? Fecto's done a great job of staying tucked in. Now they know oh. he dropped Sphinx. Two versus five, turned two versus two. Dia is able to get by into the bomb site. Perfecto, he'll have to come up from that vent. And now the lower player in Hades moves that bomb into the back of the site. Perfecto might... trying to set this up. Boomich comes upwards. Wait, they're off the plan. They've still got time, so it's going to go down. Dia's position next to the smoke. That one gets caught oh! by Boomich, who drops both bodies. Oh, and they do the impossible. The two on five is one. Numbers advantage means nothing. And that just shows you how good the rotations were. Every single time a kill got traded, even when Simple got caught off guard in such a compromised spot, which gave so much space to Deha, there was a player nearby at another choke point ready to refrag. And that was all about Boomich. I think he's 12 and 3 right now, and he is somebody that you could point to as the as one of the players who's not is one of the most inconsistent on the team. Of course, a team filled to the brim with talent, but Boomich does have his odd carry map. Perfecto can smile ear to ear knowing that this is going to be one of them. Attack timeout called here. Second already for Entz. Now that the Navi fans are done, are there any Entz fans? Okay, all right. Yeah. They exist. Good to know. Good to know. And at this point in the game, and Navi can really, you know, pat themselves on the back. If they, if they take out Enz, this will be three losses for Enz in like the last 15 or more yeah. wins on Nuke. This is a super sound place to go. But right now, they're not meeting their quota. Oh, made sense, but you are taking on, of course, the prior major champions. Yes. That is the thing. If anybody can visualize a trophy right now, it's Navi. Yeah, they've been here before, they've done it before, and they're looking to do it again. Just versus Armored Pistols, it should be a breeze for Simple. But with those smokes down, it's the spam from Electronic to find Snappy at the least. But there is far more than just Snappy going downstairs. And Boomich, he's about to get his hands full. Oh. Three kills from Boomich. Chew him up. Electronic finishes off what he started, hunting down Snappy as that pack attempted to push through, leaves Sphinx on his own. Oh, Boomich is just powered up on their blood. Half by, not enough. Tech 9 taps to the backside. Sphinx doesn't even have that bomb, and wow. Simple arrives from the heavens as Navi continue to rack up these CT rounds. Yeah, just over halfway done the first, and Boomich is far and away the best player on the server, controlling that spray, of course, just versus the Tech Nines. And it's trying to do something quick on the cross, running that rotation, and didn't lose any players in the process. But once they got downstairs, they got called out. Navi knew exactly what they wanted to try to do, and Boomich smartly laid down that smoke to make it as hard as possible to try to trade it out. What are the outs here for Entz in this position? Another buy of uh, Deha has provided them solace in a game where they only have two rounds. Seeing his outside plays could it inspire the most hopeless, but can he keep it up? Repositioning here from Electronic, trying to just find that little bit of a gap. And as he goes in off of Simple's flash, he will take man advantage. Yeah, a bit of revenge here for Electronic. But he didn't get away, and they know it. He seems to understand as well. He is still compromised. Simple looking to lend him a helping hand, but as Electronic fires off, that welcomes back wow. through. Simple's finding Snappy. Oh, do they want to come back for this? That's the question. Three different ends here for Ents. All on their individual islands. Utility is a problem. Flash was good, but simple better. All right. Down goes Hades and Madden. And Ooh. a missed shot there with a little spice on it. Sphinx responds. Three still standing here for Navi, okay. but Bit comes back from ramp. Yeah. He's getting bored over on the ramp. There's just so much more than simple right now, but all his kills are so damn impactful. And that was a position where Ents ran out of utility. No smokes remaining for the cross. They were forced to take those dry duels. Simple was hitting quick ones. Three on the round for him, and an eighth for Na'Vi. Oh, he's got his hands off. 
15 and 3 so far in the half for Navi. For, for Boomich, I should say. Back to the half by. They're demanding a lot of snappy oh here. Oh my, Boomich. Woo. Fire all around him. Vent looking strong. Perfecto falling downwards. He's as blind as a bat, and the Tech Nines connect to the head. Then the A1S of Electronic comes through. A frag from the depths of that vent. Yeah, they actually made a mistake in rotation. They didn't expect it to be an upper play. Bomb is in a good position here for Entz. Two players thinking about coming in through that mini, but with the smoke down, they can still reroute. There'll be time for Entz to make their move off site. They're going to keep one underneath the heavens. This is one that will end in blood. They know that Entz don't have much to work with. A fight to the death for all six. CT's posture up outside of that heaven. Util starts to go forward so that they can peek, and the guy in sight's just tucking, hiding, waiting. Hades, D Hub, both with one. Simple comes down and okay. goes down to the hands of D Hub. Oh, wow. Some beautiful crossfires right there. And again, utility disadvantage that came out with just a light buy. And they get away with the upper hit one more time. These continuation flashes. They had Perfecto blind for her. Half the round right there. I don't think he even saw his opponent when he died. And in this post plant, individuals were trust trusted. Deha spun on a pivot perfectly. They got shooters. <laughs> <laughs> and the timeouts are coming like a water fountain right now. We've got already two used from both teams. Yeah, you can feel that posturing, the back and forth. Yeah, I mean, they're taking each other very seriously. And for good reason. And again, we look to the second half. Navi have something to be scared of. And it's doing incredibly well on CT side. They need to meet a quota. Even when Navi had their nuke streak, that was unbeaten for so long until the Blast Fall final versus Vitality. It's such a big win. Even at that point, they always had oddly poor T sides. They had great rounds in there, but they never had these 8, 7, 9, 6, 10, 5 T sides. So it makes sense to exhaust these timeouts now. Oh, Boomich finds that one. Snappy's able to get himself down into the secrets. Quick cross with no smokes up. He just simply gets past their lines of sight and he waits perfectly to catch Electronic on that peak. Nicely done by Snappy, anticipating it and now looking to go even further. He gets down to the vents bit. He's going to be a little bit more hesitant. Of course, ramp will be held by Simple. Yeah. Made some good rotations so far. Again, it looks like he can get into a good spot, but what we don't see is how early he got there. And they also won't know numbers, the CTs. Did Snappy cross alone? Were there more? Oh, that's Bit. good. That's an Nice honest. position. Just sits back, waits. Just to have the uh, awareness to play the off angle that deep. It's exactly what Snappy did to Electronic inside of Mini. Bit gets revenge for his fallen comrades. Smokes start to fade on that A site, and we still have Ents all over this map. There are booby traps set by Ents. Counter terrorist starting to wiggle. Diha sees the barrel, slides wide, gets Perfecto's head. Boomich looking to answer, and he will oh. fall to Diha once more, who has been the best so far from Ents. It's been nothing but headshots for Diha, and the bomb gets planted, and Bit's heart sinks. Sitting inside a lower after taking down Snappy. I don't even think there's a way back in for Navi. This is a round locked up. Drawn down to that lower bomb site. Oh man, it's crazy because they were spotting the outside of Squeaky Perfecto, was waiting and hoping that his teammate on the back of the site was going to cover that for him, and it was being checked. Deha got the perfect timing. And this is where Ents show their range a little bit. Not only do they have some of these fast tactics and they can pull off a very strong default, but Snappy is totally willing to allow all of his teammates to lurk whenever they want. So they can have five lurk rounds, and that's where the T-sides gets even scarier. It's very hard to know when you should hold grenades or not. There might be a meter stick between Navi and Ents right now. But at least they take that one step forward with this most recent round. Yes. And it looks good because it's the mid-round, too. I, th I, d I don't think he sees anything but heads right now, Deha. Yeah. yeah. Th that's frustrating for Perfecto. He knows his teammate was, was watching that. We got limitations here for Navi. Limitations to that MP9 and Famas. Still double the rounds of Ents. Navi comfortable. Jeez. 
asking for some util damage, and they can make these smokes expire if they'd like to. Looking at Molly the Cross halfway after the smoke is gone. Got something new in this position. They haven't got to kill. Lots of unconfirmed damage, of course. Trying to press up with those numbers. Util starts to come in. Oh. Perfecto. MP9 good for that first. But what about Boomage's position? He's up close, and he drops that bomb. Navi across the kill feed. Madden finds no footing inside that site. Ooh, they didn't want to work hard for that one. It's Total lockdown on the doorway. Yeah, they throw some of their uh, nades outside. Last time that they faked with upper, they ended up going towards ramp. So this might have been a play off of their own rounds that they've seen, not work versus Navi. Oh, wow, what a shot from Simple, where they decide to, instead of throw that fake, just go forward with it. It's interesting, because they used a the fake first. So both could be hard to read, but Navi have been right there, especially when the, the, the set tactics have come out. It does feel like Ents are a bit scarier in that default, letting Deha work a little bit more, trying to let him get his kill. But you can't do that every single round. They can't be riding off of Deha's opening frags. Luckily for Ents, there's still that rebuy. Two more rounds to play for here on the T side. Electronics been such a nuisance, changing up this position outside consistently. Yeah, this is topping off after 30 straight for Heroic. Yeah. Completely controlled the map in that game. Ooh, frag for Electronic, but it misses. It actually hits the door frame and doesn't go through. Yeah, that could be damage that matters. Another smoke down on the door. Pumic just playing lights out right now, 17 and 5. Yeah, and he's got the most important position. We've seen how many plays have come out of Squeaky, and he has been the doorman. And looking to repeat with a caveat. Will it be red? Simple on the open floor. More than one on the other side. Oh. Sphinx gets dropped first. And look where Smash Simple is. on the exit. Weapon doesn't fire fast enough for three, but Boomich is always nearby. And as he sees that feed towards Mini, Diha again. Who else is going to get these openings for Ents? Perfecto. He gets outwards, but look at the bomb. It's fallen down into the vent. Oh Snap. My God. He's chasing Perfecto, and that opens it up for the Heaven Peak. Navi take 10. Oh, the, the coordination is absolutely incredible right now. Navi look fully moisturized. Look at the, the places that Simple is going is where Ents are ending up, right? If your Auper is sitting inside of Heaven, they weren't sure if it was going to be a ramp hit outside or upper. Once Simple makes that rotation where he drops into the site, his only next move is either to go down the vent or to retake hot or go into lobby. Nothing is easy from that point on. So that says a lot that he plays there that early on before Ents had thrown any nades upper. Maybe a little bit faster. I feel like we've seen kind of Ents slow down. Wow, that's a, a dangerous cross from Electronic, but whew, we've always seen the position where Deha has been clearing out the back of Mini over and over again, so he cheats out here really quickly. Gets the fight he's looking for, fumbles the frag for a second. Doesn't go deep enough to deal damage to Deha. Utility gets drawn out here. Last round of the first half. I don't even think 10-5 guarantees it here for Na'Vi. They're looking for 11-4. Perfecto peaks off top hut. Spinks with a nice double. Keeps himself swiveling around, and down goes the MAC-10 of Madden. Hades trying to fight versus Heaven. He's being swarmed, though, and now the mini player gets in oh. with that final round from Na'Vi. A dominant CT yes. side here on Nuke. There's no other way to characterize it. That's, that's what it was. They got away with everything. The reads were on points. Simple was in position to stop their execs wherever they went, and he had teammates this time around with Boomage in front of the Squeaky. The number of times that Enz had tried to implore something to do with Squeaky, it actually had to be Boomage to be able to multi-frag over and over again to guarantee that they'd win. They lost two times versus half buys from Enz, so that does say a lot. And we move into the second half, and yeah, Enz have an amazing CT side, but now they don't have that extra padding. Think of the terror that sets in if they end up losing this pistol. So much pressure on them in this moment. Their map pick, and they're down 11-4. It's definitely not how they would have envisioned this first 15 going. Can they cool off what looks like 
what truly looks like five major champions. Navi let the losses in the group stage roll off their shoulders. They say, don't get excited about those wins. Those aren't the tournament wins. Here and now, that's what matters. Red is on Spinks, Smoke, no kit to the CT side. Bomb plant could be huge. Oh, Madden, quick, quick kill on that outer side. Oh, but look who's still shooting, Boomish, and he's making progress. And he makes so much noise that you think he's going to be aware of everything. He actually gets away. There's a position here. Boomich, he's not stopping. I mean, this guy Like guy's... a Mack truck, he's running through the outside. He's actually coordinating with his teammate inside of ramp, and they're hitting lower at the same time. That's four players to hit this B-site. Snappy looking to cut off. Oh. One and double headshot in from Snappy. Now, they know that bomb's back site being planted. Man advantage here for Entz in a critical pistol. Snappy looks to lead by example, but here he is. The wonder of Bit. 16 health in the 1v3 okay. will not be enough, and Entz will kick this off with a little bit of life. Yeah, the crazy part about Snappy is this high fragging IGL. We look at his all-time stats, and they don't make sense when we look at the recent form. It's crazy that he's elevated both his roster in terms of how good they look on both halves on so many maps, but also his individual level. And we see him in positions where I think he reinforces himself sometimes. He'll pick up a gun like the AUG, for example, in a map where maybe he's not playing so well, and then deliver on that front. But he clearly can keep up in terms of the aim, and he's proving it today. One of the oldest players that we've oh. got at the Major, but looking at the youngest. That third kill just as clean as the first two. Majority SMGs from Entz. Roll the economy, get the momentum going, and Whoa. take back this first map. It, that is their goal. Yeah, this is kind of risky for Mens. They know that an investment is likely to come here for Na'Vi. They set this A site on fire. Flashbangs follow. Boomage. He gets that one, but Madden! No way! Blind as can be. Still connects for two, and then yet Na'Vi back with a response. Hades from the heavens! But he left. makes a difference. Yeah, yeah. But they've, they've left their post, and here's an opening. They move quickly. Wasting no time, they get downstairs. Bomb will be planted off to the back of that. Weapons are what lean the way of Hens. But talent, oh, well, that's simple. MAC-10 above them, single point of health on oh, Electronic. Simple jumps on the railing to dodge Perfect that spam. Oh, oh, my God, he killed him. With, with the nade! Diha does it 30, simple dies. Oh, and with that, the clutch comes in. One HP to the chest with the can, and he kills him. No way! Wait, that's on. We've seen that twice already. Unbelievable! This major, uh, that's that's ridiculous. <laughs> you know, it's funny, but he would have died to that molly. It was placed perfectly in that spot. They get a bit panicky. What is this spray from Madden? I, I don't know how he gets that second kill. Who I mean, memorizes the MP9 spray pattern? <laughs> he had that blind. Damn! I like Troy got nut checked with that molly and died. Not how I'm trying to go out. You're not getting tired, are you, Antwerp? <laughs> I don't know. It kind of I... sounds like you are. Yeah, Shock said uh, you guys can keep it going all night. She said they do it bigger in Belgium. Yeah. Promises were made. The stadium is absolutely rammed. Navi in full control. A little bit of a test here to start the second half. But if we get more of what we saw in the first 15, then they should be able to break through with a buy like this. Time to tell for Navi. Rounds to gain for Entz. Smart for Entz to only invest in those MP9s. Still ends up being expensive, as we can see. The buys right now, I mean, both Navi and Entz know the other team is going to be spending every bottom dollar. He's already had a massive round for only having eight kills. One of the three rifles here for Entz. Say so Navi last year had the best upper execute that almost everybody tried to pick apart and analyze. You have to show their game plan completely here to Entz. Big pop. Spinx dives into the cover. Oh, but in comes Madden. Just that one, the lesser weapons work out. Oh, they split their aim so badly up in heaven. 
could be crossing from either side. Ents were not totally prepared for that situation. Doesn't mean that's out of this round, though. There is still a chance for them. I don't know if they're even going to go for it, but look who's in position now. Snappy May is at least going to force them out with the util. That's a freebie for Hades. Diha trying to find that timing. It is that MP9 press close in the hands of Bit. And as he swings, he gets the kill. They've now taken Backman advantage. Bomb beyond the halfway point. Electronic looking to cut them off, but he also dies. And now if it's not Perfecto, it's going to be Ents with a seventh. But he waits, and he waits, and that defuse comes through. It's a denial. Oh my god. A seventh for Ents. They make that work. Did Simple overplay his hand there? He walked into mini four on three situation. Maybe they felt a little insecure. Maybe they thought that Ents were saving. That is uncharacteristic. I don't know if uh, that was because he thought he was on the hunt or if he thought we needed to get more space and he felt like he was not in a good position to be comfortable. But that patience from Ents, the Augen play from the back of Big Rush, that saves the day. And Ents make this a four round game. So little action from Bit so far in this match. On as uh, Ramp was barely played by Ents in that first half. On the T side, more will be in his control. He'll play a pivotal position inside of Squeaky. Lots of action will come his way. And he'll be able to forcibly take kills. Now as we swap over, we saw Electronic play outside on CT side. Same will be said from T side. One of the best players to clear out positions in the game. Pushes ahead. He goes down. Hades oh. falls to the hands of Simple. Yeah, he was here just floating. And they, they've taken out who should be the opera on the map, right? The AW goes down in Big Garage. They immediately call out that Ents are not prepared to deal with that situation and take it fast to Diego lower. In position. Falls back, fakes it, jumps up, sees that there's two more heads inbound. Perfecto over towards the ramp. Snappy's looking Whoa, to hold this staying. line, but he's outnumbered. There's two T's here, oh. and Bit finds the headshot. The opening and the ball now rolls Woo. downstairs. Simple getting d -hub means b site is clear for the taking. And unless Ents can pull off another lesser player retake, they won't. Yeah. They let this one slide, and with that, Navi find 12. Yeah, they, they pull that together. That was, that was pretty hot after taking out Hades uh, in Big Garage, I mean, they felt like the map was theirs. It suddenly felt like the entire setup for Mance was obvious to Na'Vi. Not worried about anybody inside of Heaven, not worried about a mini player on the cross, didn't stop to throw their smokes, put so much pressure on Diha, who didn't even have time to pull out grenades, fell back into his death in the, in the B site. And Snappy made the executive choice to sit on the ramp. Of course, oftentimes when you see somebody take your first few bullets, you shoot, if you get a kill, great. If not, you end up rotating down. And they know that with the lower pressure, the ramp hit coming in, that that part's not a fake. If Snappy stays and wins his duels, of course, we might have a different round. But he could have also tried to join up with d and and try to connect and, and, and defend the site that way. But maybe he felt like d left control side, d left d -con. This was a losing battle. He had to get it done. Either way, Navi were perfectly ready for that. Oh, wow. Simple, so sharp. Hades going to be a little frustrated, understandably, getting yeah. caught in the open like that. Oh, it's okay to patrol with the Aug. It's, it's, uh, it's a tough way to die, but at the same time, it's also a moment of timing. That Ents had a couple of moments of timing in that first half to go their way. They can't be too salty about it. Third timeout called here from Ents. Trying to smooth out that game plan, find their answer. All that love for Counter-Strike, I'm sure. This guy here Sphinx. He's, He's been a so good. complete anomaly. I mean, just trying to figure out Sphinx is How opening, does he do opening it? Pandora's box, really. Yeah, this, this guy uh, has done so much. The problem is he's not there where we expect him yeah. so far here on Nuke. You know, it's like the joke is 20 and 5 every yeah. single start and, and not here tonight, not and this evening versus Navi. Even though he's got higher highs than Diha. Diha's been more consistent than him every single game. I think in the last five or six maps, he's had over 22 kills. I think that was the lowest. Better late than never. See if Spinks can get active. Another round where Hades could be essential to the start of it. Oh, this beeline. I don't know if it would be heard, but Hades might clear it. No, Electronic, wow. Just what a move. Step ahead. Yeah, using that molly to uh, cover the noise. 
This is a position we see him, and we saw him get to in classic Navi T sides on Nuke. Taking over secret control, waiting. Sometimes without a kill, and that's where I think some of their T sides would fall apart. But in this spot, 5v4. Low guns here for Ents. I think Navi have shown their confidence. We've got Rap Smokes coming out. Big Garage getting cleared out. Navi are letting Ents hear every single footstep. They're not super concerned about that. Another element of that confidence. Now the natural rotations here, Navi know this for Ents taking over the huts, but is that a position that they can go to? Can they retake the upper site? I think they have to take a more risky choice. We see that from this position of Deha. And again, Navi let them know what their intention was. It doesn't mean that Ents can stop it. Speaks in a very critical position now that D has gone down first. Madden's going to draw the attention. Spinks still locked in, expected to the heaven play. Ten seconds left! Oh. Spinks with the double kill, and that means it falls onto Snappy. Six seconds as Navi get their footing inside that site. He goes over, and he doesn't stop the bomb! They oh. plant! In the midst of it all, the frag goes down, Snappy goes wide, and he's lost both those targets. The fire Woo. forcing him forward as Navi take 13. Oh, if he had stopped that bomb from going down, there was no way to get it back. He could have disappeared just as quickly as he did appear inside of heaven. Wow, that was insane. They planted backside because they didn't know if he was rotating through lobby as you naturally would be, or if he'd be up in heaven. I thought he got that frag. Ended up hitting them both twice. We see a little X factor out of Sphinx with his attempt on the hold. And these days, you feel like you look at Snappy and you think, yeah, he does have it on to win the 1v2. He's got that clutch. Yeah, he's putting up clutch rounds sometimes. Right now, Navi three away from victory on Nuke. And round 21 should be shooting fish in a barrel. Yeah, this is the least fun round to, to call, right? You, you don't invest anything. You have to get as creative as possible. You know, you have a 99% chance of losing. But the map is your canvas. You can do whatever you want. As for Navi, you can see, they'll circle you like sharks. Make the map incredibly claustrophobic. Do it super slowly and understand that they're trusting protocols so that everything is watched, everything is tradable, and eventually you run out of space. So the CTs respond. Long range fright from Simple, easy. Target spotted, that's gonna activate Simple. He wants to duke it out. And Spinks answers back with that P250. Oh, okay, but easy Boomich. cleanup from Boomich. He's gonna continue to rack up those kills, taking over Simple as Spinks responds once more. And Navi are looking at a statement map here as they get that 14 rounds. Total stomp so far, 14-7 and two away. Just an easy day in the office tonight thus far. I think I heard the two minute bell there. Sixteen maps played here for Ents. They picked this nuke and uh, have lost it twice. Once a long time ago, back at the beginning of ESL Pro League, to Phase, and a second time to Nip at the European RMR. Outside of that, fourteen wins have given up double-digit rounds three times in the last seven or eight. Very clean stuff. I mean, they've taken down Heroic, they've taken down Nip, they've taken down Astralis, the Flames. All very competent Nuke teams. This could be their worst loss for some time. Probably the hardest loss to swallow when it comes to the context of the match. This is the one they really wanted to show up in. To do it from here would be a massive burden, but they will try their damnedest. Off in the hands of Hades. Spinks starting to come alive here. We've seen a couple of impactful kills, and sure enough, there it is. An opening from Spinks, 5v4 for Ents. Is he awake too late is the question. Also one of his worst maps in some time. And oh, Deha will lose out to Electronic. Hades. Let's test that 4v5 win percentage for Navi. Oh, Spinks in with a second. Looking to stamp his name on this round. There's three players still outside for Navi, and they're all trying to skate by silently, looking to get into that B site. Numbers unknown to Ents. And the rotate hesitates. Yeah, as we can see, it's not committed just yet. 
We do get Snappy downstairs. He's come from that ramp room. Yeah, looking to slink him to position. Everybody else from Navi, they're just going to wait until everybody's by this doorway. Snappy, he's going to be pitched oh, behind. He's, he's on the floor. Door swing. Whoa! Oh, nice snap. It's that in the one name. at least. Molotov thrown over towards ramp. CT starting to scramble downstairs, but you leave Simple and Perfecto in a clutch, and you can get fireworks. He waits. There's a couple delayed here from Ants, and Simple just wants a target. Give him something to shoot. Where is his next victim? Oh, he might have found that time. Yes, he oh, does. Oh, that's for free. AK to the side of Hades head. Perfecto deep in the corner gives himself away. Okay. And there's a response from Madden. Does he get past the scope? Ooh. No, sir. Simple shuts it down. 15 to Navi. Oh, don't give him an off. That's 4v5 and also 2v3 at the end. As Navi slowly get downstairs. And Snappy puts himself in a position to make me multi-frag, right? To kill someone as soon as they open the door. And it's an incredibly hard shot to do so. Clean. To start things off, but the trades are perfect. I mean, Navi surround the perimeter. They take both decon and control. They open the doors at the exact same time. There was no real way for him to multi. Oh, man. Look at this act of desperation, forcing in everything they can afford. And a single rifle. And they put it into the hands of the hero who got him here. Spinks, what can you do? Oh, this map has been like uh, Leonardo DiCaprio versus a bear so far. Gutting loss for Entz. Yeah. Simple hunts the head and finds it. Snappy, he does good damage, but again, it's the weapons that are going to make the difference in this one. Diha's trying to chase outside. Electronic ready for it. Five versus three to close out Nuke, to take away the challenge of Entz. Oh, and as good as Diha has been, the kill matrix starting to lean now towards Electronic, who's been his nemesis. His mirror fight outside. Boomich waits with Simple. Another player walks in, and you can see as Entz just fumble and stutter their way into each of these kills. Slowly but surely, Navi lock in 16. And on the cusp of this A site, it is Sphinx and Madden, or map one win to Navi. Bit on the doorway, finds that rifle. Madden able to help, oh. but as he falls down, he's gonna get a chance. Oh, the player talks, they wait perfectly for the mini frag, and then Ooh. everybody comes at them. Navi with an 